BrethrenNews.com presents. What did God say to each other? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, let's do it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. One more, one more time. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Jimmy Boa Marnani Portnay. Kapakarle. Rajal. Yes, yes. Tell it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is the good one. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The topic is. You say what about it, huh? How to overcome peer pressure? Peer pressure means the pressure of your friends. Okay? So you have pressure from your friends? Do you have pressure from your friends in the school? Yes or no? Yes or no? It's a class, no problem. Do you have pressure from your friends? No pressure. You are so blessed people. No pressure, eh? Then let's discuss. No pressure. No pressure. Yes or no? No. No pressure. We all have pressure in our life. Pressure from school. Pressure from parents. Pressure from church. Pressure from coaching class. Pressure from the television. Pressure from all sides of this world. You might not have felt that pressure. But from today onwards, you will feel the pressure if you have not felt the pressure. Because I am going to deal with this topic very practically. We all have friends in school and college. We like to uh, be like them. Right? I have learned to comb my hair like this. I have not seen a hair like this. This is his hair. It is like this. Did you see somewhere? Sit down. We, we are pressured to do certain things like this. Now there is a jeans in the market. Everywhere there is one And it is good to, to wash you. This is a kind of pressure we want to wear that jeans. I said, what is this? I the meaning of What do you know the meaning of the word kolavari? Kolavari is the word that you have to say. No. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. What is the meaning of God Kolavi? It is murderous rage. Murder coming out of anger. Ah, it is a Tamil word. Now all the 
students, you know, the earphone in the chicken are a What is this? Because we want to do what others do, our friends do. If we don't do, oh, what did you say? They will shut us. They will look at us like this. They will reject us. Don't worry. One day they will come to you. Remember this. Today they will say go from here. But one day they will come to you. This is my experience. When I was growing in school in 12th class, three uh, friends came. They tried their best to put a cigarette in my mouth. Two people, uh, two people uh, pulled my hands like this. And one put my head like this. But they did not hold my leg. They did not have that much brain. I was sitting like this. And two people standing here. One back. So my leg was free and my head little bit was free. The burn the cigarette. And I tried first to put in my mouth. Immediately I realized my leg is my leg is empty. They were my friends. Immediately I gave a kick and I was down. Oh yes, I should not have done, but that was the only option I had. This, I told them, don't play this with me. Now these days there is a fashion among boys. Uh, you will bear, you will have beard and mustache in the coming days. Uh, French beard. Uh, every youth wants to have what? What? <laughs> we all want to emulate and practice what others do. They come home. Uh, the father looks up into the, in, in the morning. No arrival. And you have pressure from the ball. Come back home. There's pressure from home. Oh, pressure from here, pressure from there. Go to coaching class. Go to coaching class. Pressure of the book. Pressure of the result. From where you don't have pressure, you tell me. Here also we have pressure, right? So we are going to read from the word of God. How we can deal with this pressure from God? I have, I have also come from your age only to this stage. Brother also has come from this age only. You know why we are able to come here? There's only one, one reason. We fear God in our life. Now listen to this very carefully. We fear God and not men. Second statement I'm going to make. If you lose character, if you lose character, that will never come back. You can get back money. 
You can back, get back clothes. You can get back. Uh, you can get back anything which you have lost physically. But if you lose your character, nobody can help you. Neither your parents, nor your teachers, nor your church. Once gone, gone. You cry like this then. But no use. Be very careful in your life. This world is very dirty. Very dirty. Your friends will not be with you. Today they will be with you. But they will not be with you after a few years. Who are going to be with you? God will be with you. The family will be with you for some time. The church will be with you. The brethren in the church will be with you. Nobody will be with you. If you lose your character, neither your friends will be with you, neither your parents will be with you, neither the church will be with you. No. God will be with you still. Because he's an unchanging God. You know, there is a rope like this. Once you cut it and then you join it, what happens? What happens? You will have a rope in your life. The church when it sees that rope. The family when it sees your rope. You know they will definitely see that rope. But they will see first that not in that rope. They are going to ask you a question there. What happened when this knot came in your hand? Will you be able to answer then? Will you be able to answer? My dear wonderful boys and wonderful girls. You are, you are growing up. You have pressure, be accepted. We have to accept it. But there is some good news this morning. There is something to fight this pressure. There is a wonderful tool which we are going to give you. So we are going to see from God's word now. Yeah. First of all, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. And that day we all cried. 
She used to study in class 8. So we asked what happened. She said, I don't want to go to school. I said, why? You know what she answered? Daddy, I am not learning any good thing in school. Now, there is a row of girls in the class. Next is boys' row. Boys' row, girls' row, boys' row, girls' row. Four rows in the class. So, both the sides of these boys are sitting in the class. She is just 13 years old and her classmates are also the same age. I don't want to say in this classroom what conversation happens in the class. One thing she told, there is a boy next sitting to her. He brings tracks in the class. Okay. He, he has a friend sitting next to him. He is forcing him to have rats. Now my, my daughter sits very next to his, his bench. From 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Dirty things are pressurized into a mind. This happens in your class. Nothing happens. Last bench. Last bench. Something like this happens in your class. Nikita class Yes or no?
Verse 15. He has spoiled our principalities. He has, uh, he has defeated all satanic powers. Look at the last uh, words of verse 15. What is written? Triumphing over them. Uh, that means who has got the victory? Who has got the victory here? Christ has already got the victory on the cross. So he has given us victory now. So, today we are not fighting for victory. No, today we are not fighting for victory. I am going to say a statement, listen very carefully. We have got victory in Christ. Because we have got victory, because we have got victory, from that victory we are fighting. Now there is a difference. Fighting for victory. Uh, fighting from victory. Which one is better? Uh, which one is better? Uh, fighting for victory or fighting from victory? Yeah, the second one, fighting from victory. For fighting for victory, Christ died on the cross and he got resurrected. So he has given a banner of victory today in our hands. We just have to lift that banner. That's it, you have to lift it. The pressure will go slow. What did Joseph do when he was tempted in the book of Genesis? What an opportunity. Joseph said like this. Did he say like that? What did he do? Ready? One, two, three. Then what did he do? Ready? One, two, three. And then look back. What did he do? Ready? One, two, three. Uh, look back. Now what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Ready? One, two, three. 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 Everybody is like this. 
other day one son called his father son is studying somewhere else father is somewhere else French what did the father say? No? I was in the house. Everybody is keeping. So I also should. one sister came to me. I was in Gulf. And the mother also came. And they came for a counseling. Big problem. Yes. We want to do what ours are. But this day the good guy will say no, 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 no. This mother and daughter they were fighting before. I was seeing that fault. I came back home. The night I was crying. Oh God, where is this generation gone? We could have also gone like that. You know how I got saved? I was one of my chance we gave. You know how I got saved? It was one of my chance we gave. When he comes and sit like this, he used to be here and I was sitting on the floor when he was preaching. And I got saved when he was preaching. He is there today, I am also there today. He will be so happy to see you. We will be happy to see you one day here. We will sit there and we will see you listen. But to reach here, you have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You have to go You have to go to the house. You to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You to 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 Now, one best technique I will tell how to overcome temptation. 
this in one minute. Would it be on the rest of the Ready? Yes, okay. Now, Roni is a boy. Roni, and he studies uh, Sacred Heart English Medium School in Bangalore. Sacred Heart English Medium School, what is he He is a born again Christian. And uh, you know what has happened in this case. Now, what is the first question? What was the problem? He had friends. See, third paragraph. Uh, Ronnie has a friend circle consisting, consisting of friends from all segments of society. Weak and rich and poor and educated, all of friends. What if we read now? We should keep what kind of friends? Good friends or bad friends? Keep good friends. Okay. Now he likes them, they also like him. Now, up till now everything is fine. Now he tells them about Christ. <laughs> now what they say? Spiritual activities. Oh. 
അവിടെ ഉണ്ട് ഇവിടെ
Come back to God. He will forgive you. He will forgive you. He is such a loving one. Now without getting the relationship okay with God. Oh yeah, he was trying to read the word. And he go, he was to go to church. But no use. Yeah. Last question, can anybody answer this question? What are the costs involved in witnessing? Are they ready to pay the price? What is the cost? Ronnie should have said, you, uh, I am ready to give my life for Christ. No, no, those words have so much of power. But Ronnie did not say that. That is the life. And the cost of a disciple that he has to give for the cause of prayer witness. In our present little Jodi and Jodi, in our country, anybody was there for the last meeting? There was one question. Are you a fan of Christ? Are you a fan of Christ? Fan, fan. Are you a fan of Christ or a follower? Yes, you Don't be a fan of Christ. You should be followers of Christ. Pressure from all of the or from all the four sides of but pressure from your friends. Pressure from your teachers in the school. Study well, study well, study well. You come back home. Pressure. From where you don't have pressure. I am with you. I am with you. Ah, whatever you say is correct. Actually. Because you have so much of pressure, I know that. But God has given us a tool to overcome this pressure. You know, whatever we do, our parents say, they keep telling like this. They are saved for our good. Just listen to them. You know, Ephesians chapter, last chapter, there is a verse like this. If you obey your parents, you want a long life. You want a long life or short life? You want a long life or short life? Some people want to get long physically. Long, long life. If you, if you obey your parents, they are saying for your benefit. Be obedient. And this word keep it near to the heart. You all should be having the habit of addiction. You should have the habit of addiction. 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 Positive addiction. You know, taking drugs is a negative addiction. A Christian also should have addiction. Yeah, addiction to the Bible. Yes. Okay? Addiction to this word. Oh, I want to keep it close to my heart. I am an addict, you know, I am an addict. I am an addict to this world. I am addicted to Christ. Oh, that's the, that's the, that's the character that we have. Don't worry about your pressure, any kind of pressure in life. Yeah, fine. I this ahead. हमारे महान जीवित समर्थ ही पिता परमेश्वर हम आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं अब तक आप हमारे साथ थे धन्यवाद देते पिताजी आपने सहायता किया आपको दास के द्वारा आपको बचन बोलने के लिए और इसलिए हम आपके आभारी हैं धन्यवाद देते इस बच्चों के लिए 
जो हर एक बच्चों को यहाँ पर लाए हैं ये सुंदर और मीठा वचन आपने सुनने में सहायता मदद किए हैं आप उनको साथ हो लीजिए सहायता मदद कीजिए ताकि वो जब दिन प्रतिदिन बड़े होते हैं आपके भय में आपके लिए वो जीवन को व्यतीत कर पाए वो परमेश्वर हम प्रार्थना करते हैं इस बच्चे को साथ हो लीजिए जब वो स्कूल जाते हैं जब वो घर में रहते हैं जब वो अपने दोस्तों के साथ रहते हैं हर एक क्षण हर एक पल आप उनको साथ हो लीजिए ताकि दिन प्रतिदिन उनका जीवन से आपकी महिमा हो पाए आपकी गौरव आपकी प्रशंसा हो पाए पिताजी पिता हम प्रार्थना करते हैं आपके दास के लिए जो अब तक आपने इस्तेमाल किए हैं आपको आप उन्हें और दिन प्रतिदिन आपके धन में आपके वचन में और मालामाल कीजिए ताकि अगले दिन में भी आपके महिमा के लिए वो इस्तेमाल हो पाए हम सानी ब्रदर के लिए भी धन्यवाद देते हैं आप उन्हें सहायता किया अच्छी रीति से इंटरप्रेट करने के लिए हाँ पिताजी आप उनका भी काम में बरकत दीजिए आशीष दीजिए ताकि अगले दिन में भी आपकी महिमा के लिए इस्तेमाल हो पाए हम हर एक कोई आपके हाथ में समर्पित होते हैं इस छोटी सी प्रार्थना हमारे एकमात्र उद्धार करता प्रेमी प्रभु इस मसीह के नाम में हम चाहते हैं सुनिए स्वीकार कीजिए पिताजी Presented by Brethrennews.com